All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CADCAST episode number 755. I'm your host, GPD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who can't wait to wish you a happy International Women's Day, Wombat. It's true. I say happy birthday to all the international women out there. No, that's not what International Women's Day is about. I thought that's what it was about. It's about their birthdays? That doesn't even make any sense. They all have the I same know. birthday? <laughs> yeah. Like you didn't presidents. know that? Yeah, exactly. Like the presidents. <laughs> oh, I think you have a little misunderstanding. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, that's yes. all good. That is all good. Welcome to the show, everybody. Boy, yeah. what a show. Going to be a hot, a hot show in the old town tonight or something. That's from Batman. What? So yes. going back to that, though. Um, yes. What's what's the international part of that about? I think it celebrates women all over the world. That's what international means. But we needed to put that in front of it. I think so. I don't know. Maybe it makes it sound more grandiose. I think it's a hallmark saying, holiday. I'm pretty sure. Let's than see. just saying Women's Day. I I don't know. I don't make these rules. Is it a UN thing? Maybe. I'm looking right now. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just oh, it's too long. I can't read it. We had to like specify that this was not a, just in one nation. That it's is worldwide. It's started it's not National Women's Day. It's international. Yes. International Women's Day. Is there a National Women's Day? I don't. I don't know. Well, Maybe it seems like this is the type be. of stuff you know. I got the answer right here. The earliest version was purportedly a Women's Day organized by the Socialist Party of America in New York City on February twenty eighth, nineteen oh nine. Perfect. The socialists. Yep. Yeah, but socialists were very different in 1909. They so. were the same. <laughs> they were much hornier. They were much, much hornier. They were like, how do we get women in our meetings? I know. <laughs> exactly. That's, that proves my point. Well, to celebrate, here's three dudes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I normally, well, I normally okay. wish Mrs. Chibi a happy International Women's Day on Twitter, but since I I am not... <laughs> I, I do it on LinkedIn. On I LinkedIn. Got, I, I got a card. I just told her in person this year. <laughs> you you want a store bought card this year? Bombay? Yeah, I, I just bought an, an official. Is that for real? No. no. Oh. No. Okay. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, this guy's outdoing me here. I got to step up my game. I'm, I'm not even posting it on Twitter anymore. I'm just telling it to her. Mm -hmm. no, no card or nothing. No card or nothing. So what's been going on? I'm trying to see if there's any new toys. Shipwreck has cleaned off that entire counter there now. Yeah, his counter's clean. Mine has nothing new uh, on my counter. Well, there's no more space left. You'd have to start going vertical at this point. I feel. Uh, you'd be surprised. But uh... <laughs> I would. Is Shipwreck, is something coming in for a landing there? Like the G.I. Joe aircraft carrier or something? You seem like they'd be making pretty, space. That would be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? If there was Seems a, like the perfect spot. flag right there. Yeah. Come, you well, don't no, I that. need to be able to like those come those tops come off and then I can get to comic books and records and such that are underneath them. Oh, so you really can't have anything there. It, it's not it's not preferred, no. I like to have that nice clean space to do activities as well. What kind of activities? Activities. Organizing things. Sex. Activities was his yes. wife's nickname in college. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, insulting. Is it though? Yeah, is like it insulting is. to say a man likes to well, have relations in college, with his, No, with you his said spouse? that was her nickname in college. That's implying that like everybody well, they was were dating when she joke. was in college. But apparently, it sounds like everybody knew that nickname. I don't know where are we going. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea. <laughs> we're yeah, dissecting I've been, I've my been, bad uh, joke. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I've been organizing a lot. For what? Get, oh. get, I don't know. I Grand was, opening. Uh, I was, yeah, the grand opening's coming up. No, I, I don't know. Cats? I was for cats. <laughs> yes, cats like to knock stuff over if it's not organized. Um, I nearly have, like, there's still a corner over there. You can see the stuff piled up that's, that's bugging me right now. But yes. I see it. I it's see fucking it. up this whole production. I, I know. So the feng shui just doesn't, doesn't sit right with me. Right. Yeah. Mm. So don't do I don't know. It's, get, it's getting there. Nice. Did some some antiquing this weekend. You guys aren't big antiquers, are you? What are you kidding? You, I, you don't I, you don't no. do these things that I do. Like mm -mm. I enjoy going and looking at old crap and finding the old crap that makes me happy. But you're looking now, for you old to, like, toys. You're looking you for old to, toys. Like, flea markets, right? Isn't that where you're no, going? No. Swap I, meets. I go, I go wherever, wherever the wind takes me. I also think that's probably 
Long Island, I don't think, has much real antiquing. Yeah, but he's not even doing antiquing. He's just calling it that, so it sounds no, more no, highbrow. It's, it's an antique mall. It was but, where what, I went to two not, antique places. Well, I went to said, one antique mall and one <laughs> peddler's mall. You know what a peddler's mall is? It's the shit that they don't want at the antique mall. Correct. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but you're just buying toys and stuff, right? I mean, I'm buying basically. pop culture items that I enjoy. Toys, right. right. Okay. Well, toys, records. Sure. Video games. Right. Let's all, just call all it of, old all toy shopping. Things. Can we just call it old toy shopping? But he found, sounds, like a, he found a rare old toy. I did. I found a... Uh, do you remember the G.I. Joe Havoc vehicle? I sure do. I had one in green that came with Cross Country. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Had the little hovercraft in the back. I, popped yep. out. It's a cool toy. And it, and it had that, that clicky two-gun clicky thing where, you know, above where the where the cockpit was. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, it was a good, good toy. I never had it growing up. So mm. I came across it this weekend, but I, it wasn't the normal edition. Are you familiar with the Sky Patrol <laughs> variants? I, I, am, I am familiar with them uh, tangentially, but I don't think I had ever seen the one that you got over the, uh, over the weekend. Until sure. The so, until so Sky sure. Patrol for people like Cheapy who, who were out of the game by then. Uh, they decided to remake a whole bunch of old toys and resell them again. Do you remember Tiger Force? Tiger Force, I had all the, I had all the Tiger. It's just a reskin, right? It's a reskin, but the Sky Patrol reskin was make everything chrome. All right, that's cool. People like chrome. Yeah. Timeless. So, so it was a, not complete, because it was missing the hovercraft, but other than that, it was complete um, chrome havoc for 20 bucks. And what's the what's the uh, value of that today? If you uh, want. Probably in that condition, about 150 or so. So, I was pleased with that. I would be too. See, if you guys came to Ohio, I'd take you to all these hot spots where we dig through old people <laughs> or people's old trash that they're trying to sell, and and they got the good stuff. Right. I don't know that I'm looking for other people's trash though. Mm-mm. I mean. If I could find my old mask toys, that would be good. But they're probably not there. Dino I found, uh, Riders. I found a mask toy at a thrift store last year. It was probably up some kid's ass, like for all you know. Uh, be, I mean, it was the it was the Bronco. Yeah, the so jackhammer. Po- the, the figure though, the figure goes right no, up the, the ass figure, or nose. You can't find the yeah the, the figures. Nobody has those figures. All right, because they're stuck up asses. Right. So that's what happened with all of them. <laughs> My mom gave all my mask figures away. For some I told my, talked about it. I sold all mine to like Pakistan or somewhere. Weird. They, they need them on, there on eBay. Like they, I don't know. I had nearly the. I know I had like the first three waves, like all of them, like with boxes, and I'm like, I just don't have room for this stuff. Like, you should have opened I, a museum. No, well, I'm working on it. Yes, <laughs> soon, <laughs> soon, grand opening, yeah. grand opening. That's step two. Nice. Yeah. That's looking good. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to do some show feedback? I can do some show feedback. I'll start with this one from Gorgo, who says, thanks for the pre for the old thank you. No, I can't read tonight. Thanks we need as always, AI to read these. Seriously. Thanks as always for the free entertaining podcast. Whenever you want to make it, I'll be there to listen. Your podcast really brightens up my work day. Very entertaining as always. And wow. I'd have never guessed that Target now sells sex toys. They still do, right? What do you mean? They, they still sell sex toys? They didn't pull them in since no, last week not. and today. Nope. Did I you don't. get any since our last show? No, I don't. Okay. No. Okay. I mean, they were out of the double stroker, so. Okay. Yeah, obviously, I'm right. waiting for that to come back in stock. Like that's a what I person. thought. I wasn't sure if you got your dream item. No, it's weird. I don't. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to buy any, I don't want to buy like condoms there. I don't want to buy anything sex related there. Cause I'm there every, I'm there all the time, like several times a week. I can just buy anything I need on Amazon. That's true. Also, when you buy something there, it shows that there's like an algorithm and you'll start seeing like, whenever you open the app, it'll be like, we got sex toys on sale this week. A target? Like, I don't, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. We talked so, about that before too. They got in trouble yeah. because yeah. they were. They were letting people know when they were pregnant before they even knew. Yep. Just based upon their buying habits. That's crazy. 
the algorithm is good. Mm. So what can you do? Uh, well, Idiot Man 09 says Tournament of Champions continues to be must watch television in our house as well. Although Brooke Williamson and Michael Voltaggio not being involved this season do bring it down for me personally. I think more Brooke than Michael uh, from my end. Uh, Brooke is a former champion. Michael is not. But uh, I do like him. I'm just saying Brooks, Brooks should be there. But what can you do? Uh, if there's a cooking show worth watching, this is it, though. We delve into the Gyniverse occasionally, but Tournament of Champions is where it's at. I still also stand by this. Uh, I haven't finished the most recent episode yet because they're long, but that show just gets better and better. It's such a fun show. It's I know it's just a cooking show, but there's just something about it that just, you know, it's like the ultimate cooking show. Is it it's the goatee? Yeah. Is mm -hmm. it the wrestling belt? I saw a commercial for it when I was eating Chinese food in Queens. Uh, yeah, the winner gets a wrestling gets belt. A, yeah, the winners get wrestling belts. But you should yeah. have to fight Hip Hop Gamer for it. Then they I also would, get then they I also get a hundred thousand dollars in a truck. So right, <laughs> you know, there's there's something to that. So uh, also Horizon Forbidden West is also a bit too much talky talky like the first game was, but the final act has a very Mass Effect 2 vibe to it. I don't know. I haven't played any more of it, so mm. I'm the worst. You know what happened, Chip? My controller like ran it? out of batteries. Oh, really? On the PlayStation? I, yeah. Then I had to go charge it and I was like, eh. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like, then you lose interest. So... That's how that works. And now, and the last comment, this was by far the probably one of the most controversial things that's ever happened on the show. I thought it was worth, you know, discussing, you know, another time. I felt it was important. Uh, Dragoon Knight has to say, just tie the trash in a plastic bag so it's reasonably airtight. Putting half a sandwich down your garbage disposal sounds excessive. That's written by somebody who doesn't have a garbage disposal. I don't know. I saw a lot of people talk about how you should never put food like that in the garbage disposal. Why? I don't know. I'm not. The, I'm not. A, I don't have the one. garbage disposal the was comments. fine. It's it was downstream. That's it was right. very controversial. You have to just keep put, the water going to, to push that sandwich into the bay or wherever it's going into a lake somewhere. And then the ducks were, will enjoy a delicious happy. sandwich. With People what? are not happy with you putting a sandwich in the garbage disposal. They don't know what a garbage disposal is. It's, if that thing can fucking take anything, like it's no problem. Like An that arm? thing didn't even like didn't even slow down when I put that sandwich in. It was like it was like gimme gimme gimme. It was like where's the cement with that, please? Mm -hmm. Make it something. You, call, some, you called that a sandwich? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The only thing like it can't do like I wouldn't put like the end of a I wouldn't obviously like. Um, any like super hard part of a vegetable, like, like that's like really the only thing that it won't, it'll just spin around in there. It doesn't get cut down. Like a rutabaga. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like it would be tough to go mm. down. Yeah. Um, I was trying to think of something, but I, 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 I don't much. Yeah. I'm not really sure. Turnips, turnips, maybe, maybe, like a, maybe a turnip a peach pit. <laughs> no pits. <laughs> don't put any no, pits down no there. No pits. No peach yeah. pits. Yeah. yeah. No. I haven't had a single problem. I've had those things for um, seven years. We had one problem, and it was because the guy didn't install it right. And but it wasn't because I put a sandwich down or anything. Just got to You need that thirty-second rule of the flow. Thirty fl thirty seconds of flow after any big items down there, and you're good to go. Uh, that's it for the <laughs> feedback, I guess. And I think yeah, yeah, that was good. I thought delicious. Mm -hmm. I just want like, to think were, of that you, were you like shoving this down as it was going? No, no, no. You got guys. Okay. Google in sinker. You have, you have one, right? Chip? I have a, yes, I have. You have an in sinkerator. I have an in sinkerator. Right. So that thing, is, I would never try shoving half a Jersey Mike sandwich down. But it, you don't even, it's no shoving. Oh, cause you know, I don't even put, you know, like that. You have that rubber stopper on there. Yeah. So it's quiet and you don't like drop silverware down there. That slows me down too much. So I don't even use that at all. That just stays, stays on top of the sink. That way, everything just goes right in there, grinds it up, psh, down, fast. It's louder, but, and more risky, for, <laughs> but it's effective. Has that thing ever slowed down on anything that you put in there? I mean, no. Yes, it has. Like if what? You put, like, like what? Um, stringy stuff. Like if you were to take, like, I don't know, some kind of herb. 
and you take all the leaves off and then you like throw the stems down. In okay, there. sure, sure, Cilantro sure. Like a branch. You're talking about a branch, a plant yeah. branch. Yes. Plant you, branches. I would so not good. put a, a plant branch down there for sure. But that's basically it, like woody type things. But you weren't shoving the entire sandwich down there at once. You know, like I say, you don't need to shove. It's just like, boop, but it was like sticking. It. it was sticking out the top and it was just like grinding down in. It like just goes. It's like go. a baby's yeah, yeah, arm like a wood chipper. Like a yeah, 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 like a wood chipper. Like a like Fargo, just like Fargo. Except it just goes. Like it's no this this doesn't slow down. You're not waiting for anything. It's not like oh my god, what are you doing? It's just like, bloop, it's gone. It was like Steve Buscemi, right? Just mm-hmm. I'm sure. Yeah, it just you know it just turned back into a sandwich later down in the system. That was the problem. It was like uh, it was like like the Terminator too guy. You know, mm-hmm. you can break mm-hmm. him apart, but he just comes back together later. Yeah. I just Your need sandwich lava. sandwich is dead. <laughs> I need, <laughs> I, I need a, I need a uh, lava pit in my plumbing somewhere. Uh, should we do watch this, Jerks? Sure. I didn't watch much at all last week since our last show, but I'll let you guys talk about stuff you watched. I, uh, I continuing my kick of, uh, working my way through all the DC movies that I avoided. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. I feel Go with like, your first instinct, I feel. I feel like I just need to know. <laughs> right? It's like, maybe they got this one right. Like, I could... Wonder Woman 84, that looks like it could be fun. That's but you heard Kristen that Wig they didn't get it. it right. You already knew they didn't get it right. right. There's still a hope. It's like, oh, I like the 80s. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Like they they've done so much. Hey, right. Pedro like, Pascal, he he's he, he been happening. People like him. Sure. Um. Yeah, mm-hmm. Winter Woman eighty four. It needs to be more fun. It, they, you get Kristen Wiig. You're supposed to give her jokes. It's not right. come in and hey, Kristen Wiig, can you be really depressing? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Is there a lot yeah. of gold? Is there a lot of gold in the movie? Uh, there is. There is. <laughs> there is a lot of gold. There is Kristen Wiig just not being funny. There is uh, some real weird, weird things going on in that movie. You know, she's uh, there's attempted rape where Kristen Wiig fights a rapist. That is right. the turning point. That's how you know she's bad because she, becomes, she beats up the attempted racist too much. Rapist. Right. That's her turning point. Yeah. It's beating up the attempted rapist. Oh, she too much. uh cheetah? Yeah. Yeah, she's mm-hmm. cheetah. So he she was too violent on her rapist. Yeah. That was mm-hmm. bad. Apparently. That's how you know, oh no, she's turned. Yeah. These, <laughs> like I said, your instincts serve you well when you avoided these movies the first time. Do you did you watch it through all the way through or do you you stop? You don't stop. I feel you always go. You get to the end. Oh I, yeah, I I finish what I start. No. Um, yeah, I don't. <laughs> there's a mood. There's the problem with these movies is there's like good movies in there somewhere. They just are choosing not to make them. Yeah, and it, I, it's perp- It's got to be purposeful. It's like no, we don't want to do a formula like Marvel where these story arcs are, are entertaining. Right. And where like, you like these characters. Right. Gal Gadot still looks like Wonder Woman. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) They got that. They nailed that part of it. She turns another man into her dead boyfriend who doesn't know that he's been turned into the dead boyfriend. I don't even know what that means. Yeah. It's weird. There's some weirdness in that movie. Yep. Yeah. So basically, yep. the, she can make her. There's a guy, and he can make her wishes come true. So she wishes that her dead boyfriend comes back, but he doesn't just like poof out of nowhere. Uh, some random dude he quantum leaps into another dude. Yeah, Ugh. he just he could be. Yes, that's a good way to describe it. He quantum leaps into some other like random dude who has no idea. He, you know, for all we know, we don't know where his mind has been transplanted to. Yeah, it's very strange. That's weird. Mm-hmm. Just make it fun. It's in the 80s. Reference all the 80s things that people like. And there's a be- mall scene. It, like mm-hmm. After the mall scene, it all goes downhill. You're yeah. like, oh, and there's no reason for us to be in the 80s anymore other than like the overarching, like more, more is better theme of the, of the movie, right? 
Seems all she needed to do is beat people up at the mall, beat people up at the bowling she, alley. Oh, you forgot. I forgot to tell you, she doesn't beat anybody up after the mall uh, for a very long time. She uh, is just she's Wonder Woman sad. not being Wonder Woman. <laughs> mm-hmm. She's too sad about everything. No, she's out solving mysteries with her with her undead boyfriend. Uh, sad. <laughs> yep. I did watch a movie, though, over the weekend. I should have put it on here. Uh-oh. I watched the extended version of Spider-Man Far From Home that has the extra, I guess, t- is it 10 minutes? I don't know. The one that they re-released into theaters. I think it's 10 or 15 minutes more in it. Right. It's it's not really that noticeable that they added extra. There's some extra high school stuff. Can you just watch that on YouTube or something? I know. You probably could, but I hadn't seen it and I was tired and I didn't feel like like thinking. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I put that on and yeah, it's mostly high school stuff, which is funny. If you like Hannibal Burris, there's like a few more, there's like five more minutes of Hannibal Burris in there. That wasn't in there. Great. Like Spider-Man in gym class when everyone knows that Peter Parker is Spider-Man and they make them do stuff. Yeah. Sweet. Mm -hmm. What else? Oh, I watched the pilot of Animal Control, the new Joel McHale TV show. I saw the commercial for that, and I, I thought it was like a reality show with animals. Like he was going to be like the host, and he's going to be meeting animals every week. But it's that would par- be a better show. It's apparently not that. It's actually like a sitcom or something. Yeah, it's right? a sitcom. It 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 tries real hard to be you know community with animals, right? Or Parks and Rec with animals. And I mean, it's just, I only watched the pilot, so who knows? Maybe it gets there was, good. Those were both pitches for this show. Yes, those are 100%. <laughs> a magic community <laughs> or Slide Parks and Recreation. Community, <laughs> community with, with animals. Slide right. 2, Parks and Rec with animals. <laughs> mm-hmm. Slide mm-hmm. 3, just it, animals and, <laughs> and the guy. Was this Joel McHale? Is, mm-hmm. Yeah. Any ghosts in that one? I feel like ghosts are making a big uh, revival right now. No, they're only <laughs> ghosts in the show Ghosts, which is still top notch, by the way. That's an excellent TV show. No, well, I've been, I've been seeing a ton of commercials for that. Maybe it's a mm-hmm. Netflix movie or something. We have a ghost, or oh yeah, yeah no, that's something different. Something different. Okay, but we have a ghost. Is different. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. It's not, I think that's a Christopher Landon joint, though. So it may not be too bad if you liked um, Happy Death Day. Mm. It's got uh, it's got Captain Fal- America, Captain in it. Falcon, yeah, Captain Falcon in it. Yes, mm-hmm. yep. He knows how to throw the shield now. You know, he figured it out. He figured it out. <laughs> how? <laughs> There's a montage. Yeah, doesn't really make sense how he can bounce it off stuff. Really, sure, it's just sure a, it does. It's just the shield, like, doesn't have any uh, like to- totally can bounce. Doesn't have any like chips in it. Like, do you have any vibranium? Have you ever thrown vibranium? Tell me I about feel the time. Like, I don't know. Tell me about the time it's you were bouncy. throwing vibranium it's around. Really bouncy. Uh, yes, that's it's known like for it's it being whole, very hard and it's, yeah, it's bouncy. It's unlike <laughs> any material on the planet because it does whatever it is you need it to do that the plot point tells you. Right. That's that's what vibranium is. That sounds good. It would make a good mm-hmm. sex toy. Yeah, it's, it's, they sell that at Target. It's just it, very expensive. It does, it does whatever you need it to do. Uh huh. It's like those used concert tickets I found at Target. <laughs> That was ridiculous. <laughs> what did they want for those? I didn't see the price so tag on $32. that. $32. $32. Like it's in there. Like I'm looking at the the trading cards, right? Like I like to look at the trading cards, see if they have any garbage pail kids. Our target if, doesn't even have the trading cards anymore. Because see if they have Pokemon cards, like too that type of stuff, right? Um, and I'm, I'm looking there and I'm like, huh, I've never seen this before. It's like a, a little trade boxes, right? Like you get, like usually get like, I don't know, eight or 10 packs in a trade box type of thing. Um, I look at it, I'm like, oh, there's like some kind of like new entertainment one that came out. I'm like, that might be, that might be fun. I could like buy a box of that. These boxes are usually like 20 bucks or whatever. I look at it, it's like $32, that's a lot. And it's like, oh, it looks like though you might be able to get like a memorabilia of some sort on it. Like these things have like chase items in them, right? Like, okay. And I look at it and you're like, I use ticket? Like <laughs> that's, to a concert that's all it is and like the front of it is is like an eagles concert that took place in madison square garden in 2020 with a section 300 ticket they didn't they didn't have the best seats that 
that no that not the best seats but that is like their like selling point just on the front of the box of this thing but they only and have one of them though there's only one thing in the box you don't get any cards it's you get one used ticket that's been put into like a card form for 32 bucks wait it's it's just the one you, i thought it was like cards no, and a used no no it's just one used concert and, ticket and what is it on is it to. is it like in a little frame how do they no it's it's like embedded into a card i i don't they made it into a card somehow they made it into a card so how many did you buy <laughs> i couldn't do it i looked at it the best was like people were like i tweeted this out and people were like looking on ebay at these cards Somebody found one that was like a John Mayer one. And it was like John Mayer. Underneath that was www.johnmayer.com. Underneath that was Staples Center. Just like an all block text on like a white background. No date, no time, <laughs> nothing. Somebody just made that, that. That was all of the information. This was your, your $32 that you were getting. Right. Next next week you're gonna go, you're gonna see just like a printout of like the digital ticket. Like uh like, I just don't a, a QR code. If it, if it was like Jimi Hendrix, you know, at the Phil Maurice. Three years ago, the concerts. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. Like I, that would be cool. Like an old or even like You probably have Pan, COVID on those tickets. Like Kansas in 1977. Like even that would be okay. Grand Funk Railroad. It could be like as dumb as that for $32. But if you're telling me that it's, you know, the sort of Eagles from two years ago, that's not, that's, yeah, that's very dumb. I, I was wrong. It was Ed Sheeran. I just put, I put oh. the picture in the, in the chat of what, what this is that you get right. for 32 dollars So what, what that is, is just a zoomed in part of a ticket, I feel, right? Like that's just the middle of the ticket that they've zoomed the in on. the middle of the ticket that they cut, they cut out and yes. put inside of a card. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Wow, thirty-two dollars. I think $32. I'm gonna hold on, hold on to that. Uh, but I've been watching since we're still doing watch this jerks. I've been watching. Well, I started watching History of the World Part Two. You know, that's the. Um, it used to be a movie, a Mel Brooks movie, and now it's a Hulu TV show. Jews in space. I haven't gotten to Jews in space yet. If that's a thing. No, in that's in part one. Yes, yes, that I knew. Yeah. Um, so I watched. I, I didn't seen part two. I haven't watched the whole episode yet. I watched most of it. I, I mean, I laughed. I will admit to laughing, but it's pretty budget. I gotta say, like the other, the, you know, the first one was like a, it's a pretty epic movie, right? Like, I mean, it's actually, not great. I actually read the um, Mel Brooks "Ask Me Anything" that he did okay. on Reddit this week. And someone asked him how he got History of the World Part Part One to look as good as he got it. Okay. And he actually, it wasn't so much that they had the big budgets. They used a lot of matte paintings, mm. apparently. And that made the scenes look that much bigger. Yeah. Even like some of the extras are actually painted in the background. I think they're doing that in this too, I feel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was okay. Again, I actually, I was going in thinking it was going to be really, really horrible. And it was, it was okay. It was mildly amusing. It was mildly amusing. I, <laughs> I laughed. That is a, a step up from horrible. I laughed a couple of times. I'll watch that. I will watch that. I yeah. just, I don't know. I, That's episodic didn't. though, right? Like it's Yes. But it's just, it's just a series of sketches. Like it seems random. Like they'll be like doing civil war. Then they do, you is know, it like Russian revolution. History? Is it more like drunk history than? It's, yeah, I guess. It's just jumping all over the place. I don't think there's any as much Rhyme thought put into okay. it. Yeah, because right. History of the World Part One had a had a plot. Right. Yeah. I, th I think it. Gregory went. Hines was there the whole time. <laughs> I should probably watch that again. Anyway, is that it for Watch This Jerks? I oh, so. I should show you something. I should show you something cool. Have you guys been following like uh, AI voices and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Like the voice cloning and things. Yes. So I can now replace you guys with AI. You want, to sh want me to show you an example? Please do. So Wombat, what else are you watching this week? I've been watching a lot of Tucker Carlson recently. That guy has some really good ideas. I've come to realize that sleepy Joe Biden is systematically destroying the country. 
what we really need is four more years of Donald J. Trump. All aboard the Trump train in 2024. Choo-choo. <laughs> I do not choo-choo like that. But oh my God, that's the scariest thing I've ever heard in my entire it's life. It's very, very scary. That's Wombat. How did that's you do Wombat. That? That's Wombat. There's these websites that you can go to. I and... assume you typed in what you wanted to say. And yeah, then what you, do, you feed it. You basically feed it as much audio of the, of the, per, of the subject that you can. And the better the quality, the better. And obviously, I have all the fucking raw audio of just you on a track I could feed into it. So I fed it like five or six CADcast episodes of you. And yeah, then you just type in a box, whatever you wanted to say. And there's some limitations. Like I, I really wanted you to say, you know, like that you, you, you know, like hate the Jews or something like that. But it won't let you do that. It won't let you get too, <laughs> too nasty. Did, did you get a shipwreck sample too or no? Uh, maybe. I want to hear how he sounds. Shipwreck, what are you what are you thinking about lately? I don't like cats anymore, and I'm converting to Judaism. Mazel tov, biatch. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I only fed it a little bit of shipwreck. It's time yeah. consuming. It's time consuming. You could tell that his voice was definitely not as polished as my voice. Yes, it, it had a lot of you. It had mm -hmm. to choke down, just like that sandwich going down the drain. It mm -hmm. had to choke down a lot of of wombat. Yeah, that is scary as all hell. It's it's very scary and yet amazing all at the same time. Right? Maybe maybe we'll hear more from Wombot later. I can't wait. Maybe if you're lucky. You Remember, if I that, say like if, after a while, this could just run itself. Yes, it's ridiculous. It's very. <laughs> can we? Uh, very can scary. I, why didn't I just give you the copy for the ad read that we have today? Can I did it. I tried it, and it does it much better than you do. So I, I was gonna say. <laughs> They don't do want that. that. Well, I think that's probably a violation of whatever agreement you've agreed I'm, to. I, well, we don't have to tell anybody, but that's I think okay. they can tell. It's not I'm perfect. Sure tell. It's not perfect. Like you'll notice the the actual quality of the audio is not as clear as when it's you speaking. It sounds a little staticky. Not you know, not perfect. Two weeks. But it'll <laughs> yeah. But it's pretty fucking good. I gotta say, it's pretty fucking good. That's cool. Uh, should we do new releases? Sure. There's a couple. Has anyone been playing Wo Long Fallen Dynasty? Wo Long? Wo Long? No. What is that? That is a. I want to say, I guess, Souls like uh, game on the uh, everything, but it's on Game Pass. It's a, I guess, a samurai game. We'll say samurais. I played a little bit of it. It's not really for me. But, is it uh, like a first, like a single player? Yeah, it's a single player oh. joint. Oh, yeah. You might, you might like it. I don't know. I checked it out. I kind of got was was like, okay, I get it. And then I died, and I had to start back too far. Is, is it like, like Souls, and mm. that the combat is not fluid? The is combat, that type of thing? the combat would took is a little getting used to. I didn't play very much of it before. There a lot like of rolling I said, around on the ground, and there's a lot of rolling around on the ground. I'm good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah if there's too much rolling on on the ground I'm, it's i'm out too basically yeah you, it's not just go in there and hit the button until people fall down it's it's roll around don't let them hit you it's that hit mandatory the, rolling around that gets it's me. it's the rolling and it's the parrying it's one of those like oh make sure you I'm, time I'm okay your with parrying I'm, I'm good with that and i'm good with dodging i'm not good i don't find enjoyment of just like rolling around an enemy while it's it's trying to swing at me, but it's just hitting air because it doesn't realize that I'm just rolling around on the ground. Right. That's that's what I'm not. Well, it's on Game Pass, in. so you could try it out. Give it I'll a shot. Watch, I'll watch some videos of it to see the combat and determine whether I need to check it out or not. I'm sure you'll both come back next week and say it's the greatest game ever made and how I'm terrible for not liking it. But it's good. okay, it's gonna I be don't think eighty-five percent too much rolling. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, is anyone has anyone checked out the uh, Return to Castlevania DLC for Dead Cells? I see. Like, um, first of all, I want to check that out badly. What is all this? Like, there's a a bundle. Do I is that or like how does this you, work? What do I need to pay to get this make this happen? Uh, you could probably asking. just you could probably get away with the ten dollar investment. Okay. Uh, because the game is on Game Pass. Got it. So you could just get the expansion. That's what I want. Your Game Pass game. That's what I want. I know that's what you were telling you. They're going to get my $10. Okay. 
Okay, and then you could we'll check back in next week. You could tell us how it is. Yes, because I have not given them ten dollars. It's good, right? Like I feel I'm like sure it's, it's how I you know it's one of those things where I'm like I'm sure it's good, regardless. Yeah. Dead Cells is a good game. I like Castlevania. You throw a castle coat of Castlevania paint on something that's already good, it's gonna be fine. IGN has g- gave it a ten out of ten. Wow. That's serious. Mm-hmm. Well, they definitely get my $10. <laughs> what else? Do you think it would have been a 10 out of 10 if it was returned to Rygar? <laughs> no, Rygar no, doesn't have that it, much personality. It would have been an 11 out of 10. No. Well, yeah, I mean. Rygar was pretty. Yeah, yeah it was. Ry- you know what? I'm going to say something controversial. Rygar on the NES is better than Castlevania. There you go. I said it. and I'm not taking it back. Thinking about it. It was one of the first big cat deals. I think you're wrong, but yeah. I'm, I'm I, fine with you saying it. I like the weapons better. I like the grappling hook. I like, like when big, you, big yo-yos is where you're Big at. yo-yos, the jumping and you bounce, bouncing on bad guys. I like that. It was a, it was a good game. I it's agree. kind of epic. Mm-hmm. In scope. Yep. Mm-hmm. Way ahead of its time. Underappreciated oh. Rygar. Maybe next year, return to Rygar. If we mm-hmm. all If we all went hope and pray, yeah. Yes. I never played that remake of uh, the re- the reboot of Rygar when that came out on what the PlayStation Two, whatever that no, was. No time like the present. I know, right? Maybe <laughs> one of these days. But, uh, never played that one. Uh let's see. And and I don't think it's we're ever getting Rygar again. I've hmm. been playing some of the Outer Worlds Spacer's Choice Edition. Really? That that got sent over. I found it in my my inbox. So. I checked that out because when I played that before, mm-hmm. I played for a few hours, but I was playing it on Switch. And I don't know, the graphics weren't, they were fine, but weren't really. I, I finished that game. I liked me. it very much. So I, I've been playing on PS5 now, and the graphics are a lot better. So I think it's, I going, <laughs> it's going to capture my attention a little bit more. The this thing. version <laughs> has all, like, this is like the, hey, here's all the DLC along with it being mm-hmm. like remastered basically um ps5 is like the size of 500 switches so it should be it look it should look a lot better <laughs> <laughs> that's a really good game it is i think I, you'll like it i do like it i i have to have enough time to get anywhere in it because you sit down and you're like oh i've got like a half hour to play you're just going to be like in one like dialogue tree for that half hour and then and then you're really like i don't know where i'm supposed to be going right now and this is one of those games where what you say matters so sure yeah you know matters in quotes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's cool yeah it's, i'm, it's I'm good. jealous it, they said that to you that's okay I, though enjoy it it's right there it's right there it's available for everybody i know i could buy it i know i could buy it you Actually, finished it already. i thought about i thought about it because it was i haven't played the dlc and it's currently 20 percent off but I I know I'm gonna be busy with other games this weekend, so yeah. Yeah. it looks nice. It looks. Yeah. I I'm looking forward to playing more of it. I just like I said, you have to have like at least an hour to sit down and play that, or you won't you won't get anywhere. You're just gonna have a couple conversations and then forget what you're doing. Yeah, that's a good enough. game. Mm-hmm. What else? Uh, I think that's it. Maybe. Yeah. I'm playing something that's embargoed until <gasps> the tenth. So. Is it uh, what's coming out? I don't even know what's coming out. It's the, nothing. Uh, it's nothing that exciting. The new I wrestling game. Is. The new wrestling game. No, no. Oh. Ship knows what it is. It's nothing that's on anybody's radar. It, oh, it's nothing that's on anybody's radar. And I will say this: if they're able to fix the issue uh, by the time the game. By the time the game comes out, then hopefully next week I'll be talking about a nice little sleeper hit game. The issue. Mm. That, yeah. Is it so. the rampant anti-Semitism present no, throughout there, the game? No, there's a oh. bug in the game. Like oh. if, like an actual, yeah. That nothing. sounds easier to fix. Yeah, exactly. So that I was told would be fixed by Friday. So, oh. Mm-hmm. oh. Okay. Yeah. So if that if that gets taken care of, then it could be a fun little game. But again... I'll talk more about that next week. It's a teaser for the okay, next. Okay, what a tease! What a tease! I am, I am a tease. 
So, although I am looking forward to re- the Resident Evil 4 remake. Again. Again. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. All right, well, is that it for the new releases? I think so. All right. Uh, what's next? I think it's a word from our friends. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, Wombot oh. wants, wants to do an ad first. Hold on one second. Okay, let's see. For many men like myself, erectile dysfunction and incontinence can be a frustrating and embarrassing problem. But take it from me, it doesn't have to be that way. Are you like me and are constantly pooping yourself? Not just inconvenient accidents, but huge dumps <laughs> resembling more of an ecological disaster than a bowel problem. And uh, top it all off, no boners either. Please check out our new sponsor, <laughs> Cock Rocker. Use coupon code SOFT and POOPY to save 20%. It's so, it's so weird to me. <laughs> what do you mean? Because I know that voice. And you know you didn't say any of those things. And I know I didn't say any of that. Yeah. Of it is said. like so... <laughs> It's like it, it's part of me is aware that it's funny, and I know that we're all in on the joke. Yes, and there's also that part of me that's like, we're all aware that that's not me, and everybody's in on the joke. It's, just, it's, it's of course it's scary. Of course, yeah, it's crazy. It's absolutely mm-hmm. crazy. It's insane. Yep. Okay. Well, anyway. anything as cheapy as send all those raw files out to everybody so they can do this. Seriously, please don't do that. <laughs> Wait, send um, what? No, 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 no. I know you would. It's part no. of the joke. They don't need the raw. By the way, they don't need the raw files. They could just take an episode of any show, and anybody could do it. Really. How can, how can it separate? Isn't it going to sound like all three of? No, because you you can go in and once you upload so, it, you can yeah, tag yeah. say, "Oh, the speaker number one is B- Billy Bob, and speaker number two is this guy," and it'll figure it out. I didn't do that, but apparently, you you it can. And if it can't do it now, it will be able to do it in three months or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like this stuff is quickly becoming ridiculous. Um, yeah, I've heard the one with like Biden mm-hmm. giving a speech about like a really in-depth speech about weed, about how what, whatever he's smoking, it's crazy purple and it's blowing out his lungs. And it's I saw I saw the Biden and Trump playing Fortnite together. OK, no, that one was funny. But uh, anyway, yes, yes, go ahead. Let's let's do the Sorry. real ad. Yes, that's OK. We're going to talk about HelloFresh. What is HelloFresh? With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. You can make mealtime easy with delicious recipes made with fresh, wholesome ingredients delivered to your door. No lines, no hassle, just great tasting meals you can whip up and enjoy in the comfort of home. March is National Nutrition Month and HelloFresh makes it easy to choose delicious dietitian approved meals. Simply look for the dietitian win tag on their menu, choices for meals under 700 calories and with one third less sodium. HelloFresh has 40 weekly recipes to choose from for all meal occasions, lifestyles, and preferences. Take your pick from meals like soy glazed salmon with rice or mushroom and chai risotto. I've had the soy glazed salmon with rice and it's very good. With HelloFresh, you're getting seasonal ingredients picked at the peak of ripeness for quality you can taste. Ingredients travel from the farm to your home in less than seven days so you know they're fresh. I made tacos last night because I feel like I think my wife and I try to make tacos every week. We like our Taco Tuesdays and HelloFresh has like the some of the best tacos around. I'm a big fan of the tacos. I had the hoisin shrimp tonight. The hoisin sesame shrimp over rice with green beans. Mm -hmm. That was really good. That was good for not just me and my wife. My son ate that as well. Uh, His favorite, though, is probably the turkey chili. I think is his favorite HelloFresh meal that we've made. Okay. Yep. We we had the uh, the spinach stuffed salmon tonight. Oh, was that sounds good. fancy. That's pretty pretty fancy. I made mm-hmm. it. Cool. Uh, we made the steak au poivre with the potatoes au gratin. Uh, I think that was Valentine's week. That was the potatoes au gratin were so good. That that my wife and I like clipped that recipe out and we're like, we're going to just have to make this some other time. Anyway, 
Go to HelloFresh.com slash CADCAST60 and use code CADCAST60 for 60% off off plus free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com slash CADCAST60 for 60% off plus free shipping. That's code CADCAST60 for 60% off. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. AI's job is safe, I feel. I think so. Uh, Let's move on to Wombat's fortnightly news. Yeah. So the new season starts on Friday. A lot of it's been leaked already, which right. is surprising. There were like big leaks like all week. There was like something else, which is awesome because I like that. It breaks up the day when the big Fortnite leaks come out and it's everyone's exciting. talking about it. Yeah, it's exciting. The hype, the hype is real. We're looking at a Neo Tokyo theme for the next season. Love it. We're going to have like uh, motorcycles with neon on them. A neon tubes you could slide around Sunset Overdrive style. Mm. And a lizard that's dressed like Michael Jackson is going to be one of the skins in the Battle Pass. They haven't done that before? <laughs> they have not done Michael Jackson lizard. I know. It's crazy, right? So, And I took the day off on Friday so I can uh, deep dive into the new season. Why? Yes. What you is Michael? Just for this? Uh, yes, I took a day off just for this. Yes. Okay. I was just, I was just saying. Am I not allowed? No, you're allowed. Shame I him. was just... I, would just I, I, I have unlimited time off and I work hard. I want to play Fortnite on Friday. <laughs> I'm, I'm good with it. I just didn't know if that was, this was the complete reason. That is the complete reason. I also am making myself available for meetings. So it's like uh, this way I could play and sit on the couch and not respond to emails immediately. But if someone really needs me, I'm not going to say I can't join your meeting. I'm too busy playing Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Nice. That's exciting. Yep. Yeah. Michael Jackson lizard. You were going to say something. I was going to say, like, what does that have to do with Neo Tokyo? Well, he's not actually Michael Jackson. He's wearing like a, like a, like a red leather jacket. Oh, is it a Japanese lizard? I I don't know if he's a Japanese. He might be. There's a couple of samurais. There's like a flaming skull guy, samurai dude. And Mm. yeah. Yeah. There's clearly someone that's like an otaku type girl with big boots and glasses and so yeah they're they're going full theme it seems like on this battle pass which they haven't done actually in a long time right so people are excited people are excited just on that on that aspect of itself so i don't know high hopes as always uh speaking of japan i was wondering what wombat thought about i mean wombat thought about uh this whole japanese game controversy it's really quite simple all Japanese games are inferior and crappy compared to Fortnite. Uh, that, it was simple. That was that was wasn't that wasn't the AI. <laughs> <laughs> you just asked me to record that earlier, and right. I did. Yeah, right. uh-huh. I didn't even ask you. That was just a private conversation you were having with yourself. Yeah. Uh, what else we got here in your fortnightly news? Uh, did you see this? Uh, I guess Doctor Disrespect is still working on his game. Yeah, he's got a he's making some NFT type game, not an NFT game or some blockchain game, I guess. That's yeah, what it's, it's still it's still yeah, he's still going all in on this blockchain, not NFT style game, and right. I think people are still are still uh, calling him out on that, basically saying why, <laughs> what are the benefits here? Right. Well, he's saying like it would be very exciting to watch a game where a player could potentially win a win something worth a hundred thousand dollars. Think about how exciting that would be to the audience who is watching, and also obviously the people playing. Um, but I think any time where you introduce like a game where you can make money out of it, you you're gonna spend like most of your budget like try, doing anti cheat stuff because people are just gonna be it's a magnet. It's just any any chance of making a dollar out of a game. There's just there's industries sprung up all spring up all around it. Like any game, and it's something like this where it's like there's big value items like this, which is not not really heard of before in other games. I feel like it's just going to be a magnet for crime, basically. And he's still saying that you're going to be able to take these items and play them in a different game that comes out, you know, seven sure, years his game. later. If somebody, if people buy this one, <laughs> and yeah, they can make I, another one. I was going to say, I, I'm like, what game? Give me, <laughs> you're not going to be able to take an item from Dr. Disrespect's game and play it in Call of Duty in seven years. It's just not, 
It doesn't seem realistic. Yeah, it, um, or Overwatch or whatever the spiritual successors to those games might be. Yeah, I mean, personally, I hope like the fire has died out on all this NFT and blockchain shit I'm for gaming. I'm pretty sure it has. Some companies are still holding on, though. Like, think Square, right? Square still thinks they're going to... Well, blockchain can still be valuable. It's just... It's not much know. of a product there yet, or use it's not, scenario. Well, it's just a... Yeah, I mean, it's just a technology of how to store the, the data. So... There's not, there's not a need to build a game around it, but it could be useful within the context of, of a game. Um, this is, yeah, this is a bunch of nonsense words that Dr. Disrespect is putting together, <laughs> though. I understand what he's going for, but it's idealistic and falls apart very quickly if you start thinking about sure. how that would actually function. Right, in a real-world scenario. Everything on paper sounds great and exciting. I'm trying uh, to think of what item in a video game that no one's played is going to be worth a hundred thousand dollars. That is very optimistic. Right. How do you make something? How do you make an object worth a hundred thousand dollars unless it's actually a hundred thousand dollars? Yeah. Like what, you know, what like makes it? Yeah, a car. Exactly. Like you win a car or something. I mean, like, how does that work? I, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's very... the same. It's the same way you make a used concert ticket worth $32. <laughs> this is pretty easy. You put it in a frame. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hey, what does Wombot think about all this? I actually want to fight Dr. Disrespect. Oh, shit. I challenge him to a five-round boxing match. Fuck, he's like 6'6", six, Wombat. And then six, afterwards, Wombat. we're going to play one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to be so embarrassing for Dr. Disrespect. He's going to have to record another apology video. Bold words, man. Wow. Uh, Wombot is a tough guy. <laughs> you kick Dr. Disrespect's <laughs> ass and beat him in basketball after. Mm. Shit. <laughs> oh, that's what you meant by one on one? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what you think? Was it was it, sex? I wasn't sure. No. Maybe later. Depends how the mm -hmm. basketball goes. Uh what else we got here in your fortnightly news? Uh so Starfield has a new a new new release date of not, of September sixth. You buying that? No. No, it's on Game Pass. No, I mean, are you are you even? Oh, that's what it's gonna. I don't Do you know. believe it? No, I don't think so. I think that's just like they just. I don't know. I I hope they're taking out all the building. <laughs> you know, I I really don't want there to be like, oh yeah, you land on this planet and then you have to build your house, because there's way too much of that land on a planet and build your house in all the previews that I've seen. September seems like a weird date for that. What's the thought process there, like? I think it's usually, uh, I mean, it was supposed to be out sooner than that. But at that point, and why September, not? September is sort of a slow time, and you might be able to take up a large a large amount of mind share in the okay. media. Okay. So you release a game when it's quiet, and especially a game that's going to be on Game Pass, so a lot of people may have already paid for it, and they're just kind of waiting for it to come out, and then you get people talking. If it's good... You'll have a lot of people talking about your game positively at a time where there's not much else to talk about. That or works. alternatively, they chose September because then when they go back and say that the game's not coming out until 2024, they can do that earlier. You don't have to wait till later. They can get that out of the way in like August. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I mean, it's kind of weird that it's coming out in September and we haven't like seen it. Right? We'll find, e yeah. E3. Yeah. No, yeah. they're doing a Starfield thing in like June or I didn't do it. That's E3. It uh they announced when the next Xbox showcase is. I think it's late July. Is when it's gonna be? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. know. Games will come out at some point. I'm doubtful that it's coming out this year, but it would be nice. That'd be great. I hope sure. September. Looking forward to Beautiful it. date. So great this month. was the this was the big news. Yeah, I'll take a day off to play it okay uh, so the big news of the week is that sony is worried that microsoft is gonna sabotage call of duty for the playstation and that was part of the reason why they didn't sign any agreements with them like nintendo did to keep the call of duty on the playstation what does that sabotage even mean in what way <laughs> like make a what? shitty make the version shitty on purpose yeah, make it shitty on purpose so people play the better version on the Xbox. You These mean like Sony missing. has done <laughs> numerous times? Mm -hmm. 
Um, yeah, put the inferior version on the on the PlayStation. Right. Well, I mean, Sony always that's the same as like having exclusives, right? Like we're the home of Call of Duty. Like you get exclusive stuff over here. Yes. It's the same. It's the same crap. Yes. They don't like Bunch it. Bunch of babies. They don't like it because it's not Wah. good for them. They, they don't have they enough don't like money. It, yeah. Wah. Microsoft has more money than us. Wah. Let's cry to some government organization. Hopefully they can help us out. Wah. Yep. Buy our VR. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> this is going around. According to uh, Lulu Chang Meservi, who is the... Um, what is she? She's at something at Microsoft. She's the EVP of corporate affairs and CCO of Activision Blizzard. Okay. Uh, she said that, uh, I think it was Jim Ryan at, uh, at uh, Sony said, I don't want a new Call of Duty deal. I just want to block your merger. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So that is the official Sony stance. They don't want any deals. They just want this merger yeah. to not happen. Sure. Um, and... Too bad. <laughs> I'm like, I it's think kind it's going to happen. It's kind of bad to have that attitude because then if the merger goes through, then it's like you've burned all your goodwill. Like, And I there's no... And if there's no agreement, then... Right, exactly. <laughs> like, once the current agreements are up, then it's fair game. Whatever Microsoft wants to do, they only have an agreement with Nintendo, which, you know, when they show that to the people in the UK who are like, oh, this will be a monopoly. You're like, how can this be a monopoly? There's three consoles and it's going to be on two of them. 66% right. have access to it. 30% doesn't. That's not a monopoly. You know, shut up. Yeah. Yeah. And, and everybody can see care. through see through this, that it's just, you know, obviously mm -hmm. it's not great for Sony if the, if the deal goes through and they're going to try to block it. Yep. Because it's just a, his money. I, it's not know. great, but it's not. It, it's not like crushing. Just crushing to no, their business. No, of course not. Either. No, right. No, That's no. the whole thing. No, I, mean, I don't know. It seems like a big. I mean, just like that woman said, who works for for Microsoft. Yeah, Sony just wants to block the deal, like because they can try, and mm -hmm. it's probably better if they do. It's but it's not going to fucking ruin them if it goes through. Whatever. Some other fucking game. Uh, what else? That's it. Uh, what, what are we are you playing? playing? What are you playing? Ben Gilbert complained that we rushed through Atomic Heart last week when we were talking about it, that we just sort of talked about. Because the, the first hour was boring as hell. I didn't think it was boring. I thought it was interesting. It was so boring. It was interesting. Everything about it was boring. The architecture, it's interesting. It was boring. And then you beat up robots with blunt objects and yeah. guns oh, with yeah. limited ammo. And yeah, you know how I feel about fighting robots. Robots are, they're humanoid robots though. They are humanoid robots, but it's not as interesting as squishy. It was challenging. Did you find it challenging when you got to the combat? Eventually after the 45 minutes and you get to the combat? Like, yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah. challenging, I thought. Like, I died a couple of times pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. You got it. It's, it's all like melee. It's pretty melee focused. It reminded me of Dead, Rise, uh, Dead Rising, right? That's the one? No, not Dead Rising. Uh, oh. Dead fucking, the new one's coming out. Dead Island? Dead Island. Reminds me of oh, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That has my interest now. Because the robots are like zombies, right? They've been, they're free now. They used to be like, you know, worker they're robots. They're the opposite of zombies. Instead of being mindless old humans, they're now mindful old robots. But they want to kill you. That, but everyone still wants to kill you. Yeah. You got to kill them. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to play more of it, but it seemed like pretty, uh, it seemed like a quality game. Okay. I would recommend that people check it out if that sounds like they want more Dead Island. Um, we're still playing more Hogwarts Legacy. We're like level 20 something now. It's a very good game, I gotta say. It's uh, when I see reviews that are like, like really like shred it, I feel like that's sort of a disingenuous review. Like, it's a competent game, you can disagree with whatever, but like. Do you feel that not using the patented nemesis system it was a mistake? No. Is there no. room for it in there? Is totally. There yeah, yeah, totally. There's plenty of combat, and you could have like some dark Should wizard somewhere. 
So they should have had it. They should have had it. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't know why they. It would. I feel like it would just add more stickiness to the game. You know. Yeah, I really like those Lord of the Rings games. It really. These are, this me is out better. I gotta it. say that this game is just a better, more polished game than those games. Those games always had like a level of jank to them, and visually. Not that second Lord of the Rings game. I'm gonna. I'm gonna okay, say no. Okay. Really. But that visually, game is, is fairly jank free and visually pretty impressive. Visually, this is really impressive and. You know, maybe I'm not remembering the Lord of the Rings games that that well, but the character models in this game, at least of, of your character, you know, it's third person. It's they're they're very big and detailed, um, and I don't remember that being the case in the Lord of the Rings game. It just doesn't seem like a Warner Brothers game. It doesn't look like the only thing that looks like a Warner Brothers game is like the little um, like location marker. You have to go do this quest over here. Like it just that part still looks like it came out of Lord of the Rings, but you can turn that off. Um, you can like you know slim down the hud but it's just a it's a well put together game the combat is fun the environments are really good and like I, they don't mean anything to me like the licensing stuff doesn't really mean anything i don't know what these places are um i don't know how kids can drink butter beer i don't know why that's legal um but it's there's a lot of eye candy there's like cool shit to look at inside and outside it's just root beer and butter and, and like butterscotch. So why is everyone so excited about it in the game? Like adults and children. Mm. I feel like it's just feeding into some fantasy of like, like children can go to a bar mm. and see what parents are missing out on. Yeah. I don't like that. Nah, it's fine. You can drink it in the game. It's fine. It's a good game. It's good. Hopefully I can finish it soon because we're not really watching any TV shows because we got to finish this before it goes back to the library. Uh, that's for what we're playing. And, uh, we got a quick whip smart spank banky. This game is called hentai world, uh, for the Nintendo switch. It's anime waifu sliding picture block puzzle game. And when the puzzle diff difficulty increases, the ladies clothes decrease. Uh, the music is bad. He did not like it. And you can get naked ladies on the switch, I guess. I saw that there's some game coming out that is censored on PlayStation, but completely uncensored on the switch. So that's where we are in the year 2023. Now, Sony is the prudish company and Nintendo is like, show us your titties. That's, that's where we're at. Can we make money off of it? Yes. Go for it. Good luck. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, thank you, Whip Smart, for that. Uh, that's hentai world. <laughs> you could just make this shit up and just <laughs> I would read it. Like I yep. wouldn't know if it's a game or not. You should have like, run that through the Wombot. <laughs> I could make it sound like it's your new favorite game, mm -hmm. and that you masturbated furiously to it. Yeah, you know. Oh wait, this is your new favorite game. I just picked up Hogwarts Legacy at full price and um, absolutely loving it. It's one of the best games I've ever played, and I hardly think about trans rights at all while I'm playing it. It's pretty, pretty good. It's weird because there's, it's... It's off, but it's fucking close. <laughs> it's like that sort of lazy slur in the speech where it almost sounds like I'm a little bit drunk. The, the way that it works is you can generate like multiple takes and just keep going, right? And it'll do like completely different reads. It's just about like how much time do you have to spend on, on it? But it'll do basically, it'll get there to where you want or close enough. And if it doesn't, you could always like edit it yourself a little to make it. But I feel like for a content creator who's doing like a lot of reading for their YouTube videos and stuff, mm -hmm. like this shit is gonna save them so much fucking time. Yeah, yes. Throw the ads in there, call it a day. It's like, I seem like, yeah, the technology is fucking crazy. But also, at the same time, <laughs> equally fucking scary. Because, <laughs> like, th things like this could happen. I put my full support behind Congressman George Santos. He's a good man. Who cares if he told a few white lies? Also, he promised me a free in ground pool. That one was a rough reading. I didn't have time for multiple takes on that one. I mean, I would take the free in-ground pool. <laughs> See? Towards, so yeah. I don't even need this fucking AI thing. Nope. <laughs> um, CAG bag. Let's go to the CAG bag. This is from on... Oh, what is this fucking shit? I can't read shit. On Benkity. I need... 
I need AI to read these names. Uh, this looks like a good topic. $30 million worth of Funko Pop toys will be thrown in the trash. Funko said its fourth quarter earnings report inventory is creating financial company uh, financial trouble for the company. That's a lot of toys. Yeah, that is a lot of toys. $30 million worth of Funko Pop. I said this to you in, uh, in chat was, wh why don't they just donate them to children's hospitals or something there's got to be Cost more money money is yeah, the answer always cost, the answer money or to send them somewhere i guess i mean but couldn't they write it all off money obviously they've done the math on this also, michael what Pachter. Are kids, what are the kids going to do with these things i know they did the math i'm not saying that they didn't do the math on it and that burying them is cheaper yeah i'm just saying why couldn't isn't they there, isn't there something better they could do where they could say you know what our financials aren't what they are I, yes, we're going to be able to write this off, but if we're going to have to take a bath, at least we could do like there's a PR spin there. What's better than money, Wombat? Nothing. I don't. Nothing know. beats money. Every decision, money. I Why know. They do I, it this know way? I know. Money. I know this. I'm not arguing. I know. It seems. I'm not bad. arguing this wasteful. point. Yeah. The hospitals just... don't even want that shit. I feel. What do the hospitals want? All that stuff sitting around. Kids are going to be like. It's probably just going to like spread disease somehow. Someone could be like, oh, look, I got a Blanche from Golden Girls. <laughs> My cancer is gone. Right, but now I have hepatitis. I got hepatitis from the from the doll. Yeah. <laughs> it was made what in a factory. And... <laughs> I got Grogu with a frog in his mouth. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. I, anyway. I think both of those were probably selling fine. These yeah, are... those might be selling fine. I don't know which ones they're going to... I got a, a Post Malone... <laughs> Right, oh. still, still probably fine. Probably you think? fine. I don't know. I mean, you look at like you go to Target and you look at these characters that they put into these things. You're like, who? Like this is like a six tier character uh, that nobody knows other than these people who watch this one specific TV show. I would say it's my my uh, barometer for a bad Funko Pop. Not that I buy Funko Pop. Pops, like the actual pops. I know I have the sodas. We could discuss that a whole separate. That's a separate conversation. But my barometer on whether or not one's good or bad is: Would you know who that was without the box? And it's amazing how many Fungo pops. Where if you just showed me the pop and there was no box saying who it was, right? I would have no idea who they are. That's bad design. Yeah. Like I don't know who that is. That's just the guy in a shirt. Right. And then, and then it's like, no, it's a, it's like, like your ship says like, you know, no, it's Rob Lowe from parks and rec. I'm like, Oh yeah, that's real iconic. That's definitely <laughs> getting thrown out. That's definitely there's so many fucking pallets of that sitting mm -hmm. there. That's tough business. I guess you gotta, you it can is. bet. It reminds me of uh, the whole uh, Disney infinity stuff like yeah you're trying to guess how many fucking hulks to make <laughs> like who the fuck knows and you saw that too right disney may sell off hulu so they can have full rights to the hulk wait what i don't even know what you're okay. talking about so disney shares the rights to the hulk and namor with universal and namor is just thrown in there let's just, yeah it's yeah. namor and the hulk <laughs> no those are the two that. that they share with universal <laughs> okay which is why you haven't seen a, a Hulk solo movie in such a long time. Okay. Uh, so to, to like wipe the slate clean on this, apparently they're working on a deal where Universal may get Hulu and Disney gets the Hulk back. Who gets Namor, though? That's the most important thing. I think thing. Namor goes back to Disney also. <laughs> Namor and the Hulk. They're going to throw out Namor with all the, Namor with the, all the Funkos. Namor. That whole, that whole, just the whole IP is going to be. No more. They're going to crate it up and put it right next to the Funkos. Just like, take, take this one too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they basically fucked that up in that movie. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. I think that's enough show. We have to all recover from all the crazy things that Wombat said this episode. He's you completely know, changed his personality. I feel like I'm a new man. <laughs> You've gotten it all off your chest now. Hey man, this is what I sound like. <laughs> hey, well, that was only AI. that one. That was only that one. You know, I just didn't have enough time to, uh, you know, fully flesh these out. Yep. But uh, by next week, I should have a whole show. You don't even need to show up next week, probably. That's great. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see you then.
Red's done. <laughs>